good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Uh, let me see if, yeah, no, not that one, not that one. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Let's see if you can see me. Yes, you can finally see me. <laughs> We've had a few technical problems this afternoon. We have done many, many Facebook Lives. We've not done many YouTube Lives. So I apologize for this rather strange start to the proceedings. Um, we have had a few technical problems, but we are here now and hopefully you can see us. Hopefully you are able to uh, let us know where you're viewing from and hopefully you can see our ticker here. And I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mark Pendleton. I am the founder and CEO of Coffee Break Languages and I have been involved since the very beginning, since back in 2006 with Coffee Break Spanish when we first launched. Now, this means that um, when uh, uh, we're talking about Coffee Break Languages, I am the person that's able to answer your questions. And that's what we're hoping to do this afternoon, hoping to answer your questions as long as I can actually see your questions and as long as all of this works. Uh, now, also just to complicate things, we had uh, a little problem with the website that I was going to be demonstrating to you. Um, and I hope that that is sorting itself out at the moment. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to show you some of the content that we use here on Coffee Break Languages and we'll be getting onto that in just a moment. Now, if you are watching, please post in the comments and let us know where you are watching. If you have any questions, again, please post in the comments and we'll see your questions. Um, we are looking forward to this. We're looking forward to hearing from you and looking forward to uh, a good session here, all about Coffee Break Languages and what the premium courses involve. Let me see if I can bring up this screen. You should be able to see, yeah, I think what we'll do is just bring that screen full screen and you should now see a white screen. Yeah, hopefully this is working. Right, so we have a number of pieces of content online. You have obviously come across our free podcast perhaps, or perhaps you have come across us here on uh, YouTube and you have been enjoying our videos, our walk, talk and learn videos, our Coffee Break Spanish to go videos and so on. Um, we also have a, a set of online courses and of course we've got lots and lots of social content that we put out on Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter. But today what we're focusing on are those online courses and we're going to be explaining more about what the online courses entail, particularly what those additional elements are of the online courses to help you get more out of your coffee break French, German, Spanish, Italian and Chinese experience. Just so that I know uh, that there is someone out there, please do post a comment in the chat. I do see that we've got Zoltan. Uh, hello, Zoltan. Nice to see or hear you from Transylvania, Romania. Fantastic. Mulsumesk. Thank you very much, Zoltan, for, for posting there. And if you've got any questions, please do post uh, your, your questions and your uh, comments in the chat. I also see we've got Greg. Greg, good to see you there. You're from East Coast, USA. Fantastic. Nice to see you. Uh, what time? You're just after lunchtime in the in the US, so I don't know whether you're joining us on your lunch hour or something, but we are delighted to have you here. And anyone else who's joining us, please do post a comment and let us know uh, where you're viewing from. So today, as I said, we're going to be taking a closer look at the premium courses, the, the online courses that we have for Coffee Break Languages. You may have been listening to our podcast, you may have come across us on YouTube, you may have been tuning into our social content on Facebook, on Twitter, or Instagram. All that's fantastic, but today we're talking about the online courses to help you get into these courses in more detail and understand what's involved in the courses. So let's do just that. If at any point you have a question, I can see the questions now, so it is, you're, you're, it's perfect. If you want to go ahead and ask your question, I will do my best to answer your question. We have sent out a, an email to our, our list to say that this is happening, so hopefully the, the, if you've joined us from that, you'll be able to ask, uh, ask your question and I'll be able to answer it here. Okay, let's get started then. So as I explained, we have five different courses. Five are our main Coffee Break courses. These are Coffee Break Spanish, French. Uh, sorry, I can't see this slide anymore. We've got Coffee Break Italian. Oh, I know what's happened. I know what's happened. Give me a little second. You can see my eye through that. Oh dear goodness, and the, the chroma key suddenly took, 
took part there um, and we had uh, my eye appearing through the green of the Coffee Break Italian Cup. That's not a good look. So we've got Coffee Break Spanish, we've got Coffee Break French, we've got Coffee Break Italian, Coffee Break German and Coffee Break Chinese. Five Coffee Break courses and each course is available at different levels. And I'm going to be speaking a little about these different levels today and explaining what's involved. So let's first of all take a look at Coffee Break Spanish, our first course. Coffee Break Spanish comes in four flavours, if you like. Coffee Break Spanish Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 and Season 4. And in each level, in each season, we're looking at content at a particular level. So Coffee Break Spanish Season 1 is focused on absolute beginners. If you've never done any Spanish before, if you've never learned a word of Spanish, then Coffee Break Spanish Season 1 is perfect for you. It starts at the very beginning. You'll be looking at greetings and learning to talk about yourself, learning to make friends and use Spanish in a, in a travel situation. Perhaps you're going to be going to a Spanish-speaking country and therefore you'll be able to use your Spanish in that transactional situation, uh, ordering drinks and booking into hotel, dealing with emergencies, traveling around, finding your way around and so on. So Coffee Break Spanish season one will allow you to develop that Spanish either for traveling in Spain or indeed for Latin American countries. So with Coffee Break Spanish season two, you take that a little further. So with season two, we're going to be moving on and looking at the grammar of the language and getting into the language in a greater way and looking more at how the language works. So with season two, it's more about using the language to say what you want to say in a sense, rather than perhaps learning phrases and learning to use the language in specific situations. With season two, you'll be developing out. So if perhaps you've previously learned some Spanish, then when you come to season two of Le Le Coffee Break Spanish, it's a perfect way to review what you've previously learned and build that firm foundation on which to take further your Spanish lessons. Coffee Break Spanish season three, again, takes things that bit further. So with season three, you'll be looking at more developed content. You'll be looking at more complex grammar. And again, in season four, that's looking at advanced grammar and uh, idiomatic expressions and, and so on. Now, with each of those levels, the course comes with a number of different elements. And the elements include uh, lesson notes, include video materials for seasons one and two, and they include transcripts and bonus audio. And we'll be looking at some of that in, in just a moment. So Coffee Break Spanish, as I say, comes in four different levels. Season one, season two, season three, and season four. And we also have some other Coffee Break Spanish content. So for example, if you're a beginner, then Coffee Break Spanish to go season one could be useful. You would be joining Marina there for video episodes where you're looking at using the language in a practical way and hearing real native Spanish speakers use the language. Equally, we have our Espresso series, which is a good way of building your intermediate language and focusing on the use of the language and practicing the language in a variety of ways. We also have two magazine series, so Coffee Break Spanish magazine season one and season two. And these are video episodes where we've been uh, talking to people in the streets and asking them interesting questions uh, and then using their answers to develop a, a greater understanding and a greater range of vocabulary. So four extra courses there, Coffee Break Spanish to go, the espresso and the magazine seasons one and two. They're also available in the Coffee Break Academy. So much for Spanish. Let's look briefly at French. French, again, has four levels. So we've got season one, season two, season three, and season four. And these four levels work in the same way as French, uh, as Spanish, sorry. So they're starting at a basic level for season one, moving up to an advanced level by season four. And again, we have got uh, additional materials in the shape of Coffee Break French en route, en route avec Coffee Break French, which is a, a course that takes the French that you've learned so far in Coffee Break and it, it allows you to develop that further and develop it in a, in a different way. Sorry, I'm just going to cough. I'm going to switch off the mic. Sorry about that. So this is uh, En Route avec Coffee Break French, a great way to practice your French. And uh, if you're interested in developing your knowledge of French verbs, then the Coffee Break French Verb Fix will allow you to do just that. With uh, Coffee Break Italian, again, we have two levels for Coffee Break Italian, so seasons one and season two. And the same goes for German, so season one and season two of German. 
And for Chinese, we've got one level, so Coffee Break Chinese Season 1. So what I'd like to do is talk a little more about those uh, the different elements. And I can actually see that we've got a question here from Zoltan. Zoltan is saying that I've been listening to Coffee Break German and Italian, the free version, for the past year. I've learned a lot and I love them. What does the paid content have in extra? What extra content does the paid content have? Well, if this is going to work, let's see if I can switch over to another camera here. Uh, this is on my computer and I'm hoping that the website, uh, we, we had a problem this afternoon, our, our Coffee Break Academy is based on the Teachable system um, and the Teachable system suddenly started have a, having a problem just about 10 minutes before we started this broadcast. So hopefully this will work and we'll be able to see what's involved. So this is in answer to Zoltan's question. Uh, what uh, What is the, the bonus materials? What bonus materials are there for each lesson? Well, let's take, uh, this is season one, Let's take lesson 11, for example. You can see that there are four elements here. There is the video content, the audio content, lesson notes, and bonus audio. Now, if you're just a free listener, then it's that audio content that you'll have been listening to so far. With the audio content, obviously, you can build up a knowledge of the language, but we want to help you take that knowledge further. So we provide a video lesson, and the video lesson allows you to see the words on the screen. We, in fact, I believe I can show you that just now. Let me just see if we can have a quick look at this just now. So this is an example of the Coffee Break Italian season one video content. And the same applies, of course, to French, German, Spanish and Chinese. Let's have a look. Un cappuccino, per favore. Good. And we can add in another word here, and that is the word vorrei. I would like. Vorrei. So, I would like a cappuccino, please. Vorrei un cappuccino, per favore. Perfetto. So, that's a straightforward form that we can use when we're ordering anything. Vorrei, then the drink, and then the please. Vorrei un latte macchiato, per favore. Vorrei un caffè, per favore. Vorrei un cappuccino, per favore. Perfetto. Okay, let's learn some other drinks. What about a tea? Very easy. Un tè. Un tè. Now, if you order un tè in Italy, then the chances are it will come con lim. So I'll just stop that there. Um, that hopefully gives you uh, an idea of, of what's involved in, in the video content. So you can see the words on screen. And of course, it's great being able to see the words on the screen because then you can see how the words are written. You can see how the, uh, the, 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 the spelling works. For example, in Italian, there are certain words or certain letters that are pronounced in a particular way when they follow a particular letter or for the, where they, they, they come before a particular letter. So you're seeing these words on screen and that's really helping visual learners understand how the language works. Now I see another question from Greg there who's saying he had purchased premium podcasts years ago for French, had PDFs and some extra content. Is this different? Well, in a sense, it's, it's the same because it's the same course, depending on what level you were working on, Greg. But what we do have now is the video versions. We didn't have video versions previously. They were uh, enhanced podcasts, which sometimes worked for certain devices, but some people had some problems using the, the enhanced podcasts for other devices. We got rid of the enhanced podcasts and replaced them with brand new videos. So this is the, the video content. And if you're certainly looking to review the materials uh, from the past, then that would be a, a useful way. And if you have got it in the past, then simply get in touch. And if you've got your receipt, we can get you uh, all the new content in the Coffee Break Academy with no bother. So hopefully that answers your question, Greg. Coming back to the bonus materials. Let's see if we can go over to this camera again. Coming back to these bonus materials, so we've got the video lesson, the audio lesson, and then I also mentioned lesson notes. So I'm crossing my fingers as I click on this here and hope that this works. It works beautifully. Here are the lesson notes for Coffee Break Italian uh, Season 1, Lesson 11. And you'll see here that we've got all the conversations included in the lesson, a transcript of those conversations with vocabulary and explanations. And there are further notes in the cafe there with the, co the, uh, the, the vocabulary. And lots of details there on what those uh, le what each lesson entails. So that's for the lesson notes, and we also provide bonus audio. And the bonus audio allows you to check what you've learned in the main lesson. If you've covered a particular topic, or if you've covered 
a particular uh, grammar point, for example, in the main lesson, then by using the bonus audio, then what that allows you to do, um, sorry, that button there, what that allows you to do is review that material. So go through the material in a different way, perhaps. Sometimes we provide some music for you to review the material, or we would provide some translation questions, and that gives you an opportunity to practice that language further and consolidate it more with the bonus audio. So those four elements are available for every single lesson in seasons one and two of all our courses. A video, the audio, the lesson notes, and the bonus audio material. And you get that for all 40 lessons of the, of the, the, the season. In seasons three and four for French and Spanish, the bonus materials are a little different in the sense that there's no video for them. But the season four, I'm going to try and do this, actually. If I go here, I should be able to do this. Um, so that's an example of some German lesson notes. This is season two. We've got lesson 31. Um, and you can see there, obviously, the time that, by the time we were in season two, there's lots more German being used. And we're actually running a sort of uh, soap opera, if, if you like, a radio play in Coffee Break German season two. And you can see there that that's the transcript of the radio play. And of course, there's lots of vocabulary to explain what's going on and further lesson notes explaining every aspect of this. So that's uh, Coffee Break German Season 2. Um, Coffee Break French Season 2. So there are some French notes. Um, you can see there that there's a similar style. And then this is just a sample of some of the notes from Coffee Break Spanish uh, magazine. With the Coffee Break Spanish magazine, again, the bonus materials will give you access to the video content. And here we've got transcripts and uh, explanations of the, the content. So here with the magazine, it's a question of the week. The question of the week in this case is, ¿Cuál es el mejor regalo que has recibido jamás? What's the best present you've ever received? And so we've got transcripts of the interviews uh, with the explanations of, of people. Uh, we've got... Uh, the different interviews here and of course explanations about the vocabulary that each person uses uh, so the best gift that this man ever received was his son mi hijo creo que ha sido el mejor regalo que ha recibido y que podré recibir nunca en la vida so i think it's been the best present i could ever have received and that i will ever be able to receive in the future so again all of this is the bonus content the bonus content will feature this extra content this extra uh, explanations the extra explanations of the vocabulary and in some cases for seasons one and two and for our magazine you will also see the video content that is um the the private content for the premium courses I think we've got some other questions here. Uh, we've got, uh, so Greg says, thanks. I'm, I'm glad that made sense to you, Greg. Um, Jonathan is saying, I've been using the premium versions of Coffee Break German in the car. Fantastic. So with Coffee Break German, the premium version, that will give you a little extra to work on. And of course, if you can use the, um, the, the videos when you're not in the car, don't, please don't use the videos in the car, Jonathan. Um, but if you use the videos when you're not in the car, then that way you're reviewing the content afterwards. And you're, lots of people like to listen to the, the audio first and then watch the video. That way you're hearing the words. It's very important to hear words first before you see them. Because sometimes when you see a word, you start to think about what that word would sound like and then that kind of colours your uh, your understanding of the word. So it's important to try to hear a word first and try to replicate that sound and then see it. So that's why we would suggest that you listen to the audio first, then do the video version and then of course you've got the lesson notes to work through and work out what everything means. Okay. As I said earlier, if you have any questions, then please do post them in the, uh, the the chat here and we'll do our best to answer the questions. What I'll do now is just come back onto our uh, presentation here because I'd like to talk about pricing. As you may know, uh, this weekend we are in the middle of our Black Friday sale and that means that there's 30% off all of our courses. Now, just to give you an idea of the pricing, for example, these, these prices here in red are the UK pricing, including VAT. So with the, the first one there, for one season, the normal price in the UK would be £96 for those 40 lessons and the bonus materials for each episode. So that's 40 videos, 40 bonus audios, 40 sets of lesson notes. 
and that normal price is £96, including VAT. The reduced price, which finishes tomorrow, is £67.20. So that's a fantastic saving, a 30% saving. Now, the very small writing there shows the reduced price in US dollars. So if you're in the US, obviously you wouldn't be paying VAT. VAT is only charged for anyone paying in the EU and it's charged at the local rate. So if my eyesight is going to help here, uh, I think that the USD price excluding VAT uh, is 72.80 for one course. That's down from the normal price of $104. So again, saving 30%. Whatever you are, when you go to the Coffee Break Academy to purchase your course, these prices will automatically be shown in the correct currency. Well, all prices will be shown in both pounds and dollars. That's US dollars. And it will automatically calculate whether you need to be paying VAT. So don't worry about uh, should I be paying VAT on this or is this price including VAT? If you're supposed to pay VAT, then that will be calculated automatically. If for any reason you're in a part of the world where uh, normally the country pays VAT, but if you're, for example, in the Channel, Island, the Channel Islands where VAT isn't paid, then just get in touch and we will, of course, refund that VAT afterwards. Okay, so for one course, one season of 40 lessons, down from £96 to £67.20. Um, if you want, you can buy a bundle of two seasons and that price comes down from £174 to £121.80. So it's already reduced because it's a bundle and you're getting a further reduction during the Black Friday sale. For, se for three seasons, the normal price in the UK would be £252 and that's for 120 lessons and that comes down to £176.40. And finally, for four seasons, if you want to buy four seasons together, then that would be £306 normally, and that's down to £214.20, and that would be for 160 lessons. So all in all, what you're looking at there is every one of these prices means that every lesson is a lot cheaper than a cup of coffee at your favourite coffee shop, probably. So that is the pricing, and uh, the pricing is... Uh, on this weekend, it's, uh, I know this is Monday, so we've been running the Black Friday sale since Friday, um, and uh, the Black Friday fr the Black Friday sale will finish tomorrow. So if you are interested in buying one of these courses, then absolutely now is the right time to act because, as I said, the sale stops tomorrow. It's a great way to get a head start on your language learning uh, for next year. And there's something else that I need to tell you about too, and that is the fact that everyone who in who uh, purchases this weekend using that coupon code BF2018, which I realise I've not told you yet, but I think the team will post that coupon code in the chat. It's BF2018. If you enter that coupon code at the time of purchase, then you will be entered for a prize draw. And this prize draw will allow you to win our entire language learning library. That is 58 courses over 30 languages and it's a prize that's worth over £2,000 and uh, on uh, what day is this Monday on Wednesday we're going to be drawing this uh, competition so there will be three lucky winners drawn at random from the from everyone who's used the Black Friday coupon code and we will be delighted to give away our entire collection of language lessons to three lucky winners on Wednesday so uh, all you need to do to enter is simply uh, use that coupon code BF2018 when you're purchasing. Okay, let me see here. Uh, I think we have a couple more questions. Um, so Zoltan says, thank you. I'm glad that makes sense. Um, Jonathan saying he never realised the videos could be so useful. Um, I, I'm glad that you're, that you're using the videos, but again, not in the car, Jonathan. Um, Jonathan saying, thanks, Mark. Great suggestion. Could you tell us a little bit what Flavour of German covers, please? I can indeed. A Flavour of German is a, a special course, just 10 lessons, and it features Julia, that you may be familiar with from our cultural correspondence segments of Coffee Break German. And Julia is teaching me about some idiomatic expressions in German. So it's a way to spice up your German. That's why we call it a flavour of German. And there are 10 lessons and each lesson looks at a different topic. So, for example, one of the topics might be idiomatic phrases that are to do with colour or something might be uh, idiomatic phrases that are to do with animals. We have idiomatic expressions in, in English, like uh, it's raining cats and dogs, for example, and an animal expression. 
but in German you could be thinking about an expression such as Hundemüde, uh, your dog tired. So uh, there are lots of examples of these idiomatic expressions in A Flavour of German. There are 10 lessons, uh, audio content and uh, uh, lesson notes for A Flavour of German, but again you can find that on the Coffee Break Academy. Talking of the Coffee Break Academy, what you need to do is go to the Coffee Break Academy. Let me just get this up here. Hopefully this will work. Just talk amongst yourselves for a moment. <laughs> it's loading in, hopefully. Here we go. So if I come out of here. Okay, I think I can switch this on. Uh, there we go. So when you come to the Coffee Break Academy, uh, you can see here that you can uh, choose one of the courses. Um, actually, this is not the right. Let me just log out. It's logged in as me, so it won't show the courses as you would see them. Um, I see the team has posted the, the link there for Coffee Break Academy. So this is the Coffee Break Academy, um, our website where everything is accessible. And it looks like right now, because I'm doing this live, it doesn't look as if it's going to be... Oh, here it goes. It's working now. As I said, there's some problems on Teachable today, um, and we are trying to get them solved uh, well, the Teachable team is trying to get them solved and they'll be solved very soon. So you can see here on the Coffee Break Academy, each of the courses is listed with the full price. Um, so you choose the, the course of your choice. Let's go with Coffee Break German Season 1. Click on this course and the page for Coffee Break German Season 1 will load in at some point today, hopefully. It's coming. One thing to mention uh, while this is loading in, and it's something that we receive many, many emails about. And it's this word here, enroll in course. Now, lots of you seem to look at that and think, oh, that's spelled wrongly. Uh, well, it's not spelled wrongly if you're in the UK. That's how you spell enroll in the UK. So that's why we have it as E-N-R-O-L and not E-N-R-O-L-L. So down here, we can see at the bottom, it says single payment GBP, £96. Single payment in USD, £124.80. Now, the only reason it's showing as £124.80 is because, of course, I am in the UK and therefore it's putting VAT on that, even though I, I would be choosing to pay in USD there. But uh, let's just use the, the GBP uh, option just now. So £96. I click on Enroll in Course. And the, the website will load in here. Now, you may have noticed um, that the link up here is now sso.teachable.com. And we had a couple of questions about that. That's correct. It should be loading in on teachable.com because uh, the Coffee Break Academy is built on the Teachable website. So here we've got Add Coupon. I click on Add Coupon. And this bit's important. I need to put in the correct coupon code. So the box to put in the coupon code only comes up when you click on Add Coupon. So I've pressed Add Coupon. I've put in my coupon code. Click Apply. And you can now see in just a moment that I have saved myself 30%. So the cost is now down to £67.20. But I need to put in that coupon code in order for it to work. So that is how I would go ahead and purchase a code, uh, a course using the coupon code. I think that's about as much as I wanted to tell you about. Just a reminder that our sale closes tomorrow. So you have uh, just under 24 hours left to use the coupon code to save yourself 30% on our courses. And I hope that you take this opportunity to do so. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for those of you who were able to watch live. If you're watching a, a review of this event afterwards, then hopefully uh, it's all made sense. We'll keep an eye on the comments um, and we'll obviously answer any questions that are posted at a later date. Um, of course, at this stage, uh, the questions and the coupon codes and so on will only be active until tomorrow. Um, so... Um, oh, see, now the questions are just coming in <laughs> just as we get ready to finish. Um, but I'll get to those questions in a minute. The the questions, we'll, we'll only keep this up on the, the YouTube channel until tomorrow because obviously after that date, it doesn't really make any more sense to have a, a sale uh, video when the sale is no longer on. 
So we've got a few questions that are coming in just at the uh, last minute. So we've got Gilda Mitsuko who said, I had purchased 40 lessons already and have not finished it. If I purchase more lessons now, should it be added onto my current lessons? Yes, absolutely. You can take as long as you need to finish these lessons. There's no hurry. Uh, they don't time out or anything like that. You can uh, take your time, work through them at your own pace. But if you're thinking, yeah, you would like to continue on with the next season, then now is a good time to buy because you can buy it now and it will just sit and wait for you uh, when you're ready to take that next season. So I hope that answers your question. Um, Greg saying, just look, long time fan, purchased in 2012. Thank you for being with us this long, Greg. Um, again, if you need into the Coffee Break Academy, just drop us an email, send your email to support at radiolingua.com and we'll be able to get that sorted for you very quickly. Um, Mary is asking a very interesting question. Can you purchase a gift certificate for a future course, Coffee Break Italian Season 3? No, you can't, because any gift certificates that are uh, activated just now will time out at the end of this year. So they'll time out on the 31st of uh, December. That's the end of the year, Mark. Um, so they'll time out on the 31st of December and any new courses, for example, Coffee Break Italian Season 3, that would be coming in the future. So unfortunately, you can't buy uh, a gift certificate now and then use it at a later date to gift that to yourself. You have to use a gift certificate to give someone else a gift of the course just now, if that makes sense. Um, if you are interested in buying uh, a loved one or a, a friend, a, a language course perhaps uh, for the holiday season, then you can of course buy a gift certificate and uh, we will pre we'll prepare a, a PDF gift certificate with their name and the course that you've chosen. Um, again, all the details are on the Coffee Break Academy. Just look for gift certificates on the Coffee Break Academy and you can buy one for one course or one for two courses. So one season or two seasons. Um, and again, of course, until tomorrow, those have 30% off. They've got thirty percent off, but they will, of course, represent the full price of the course for your friend or loved one up until the thirty-first of December. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, let's see. Zoltan's asking: Is the offer available for the future episodes as well? For instance, German season two. Well, Zoltan, we're actually already running German season two, so German season two is available to buy. Um, you can buy German season two in its entirety, so 40 lessons of German Season 2. We're actually, this evening, publishing Coffee Break German Season 2, Episode 37, and there are three more episodes to go, 38, 39, and 40, and they'll be published over the next, uh, well, every every two weeks from now. So um, if you do buy just now, you'll get access to Lessons 1 through to 36, then tonight 37 will appear in the, the Academy for you and then obviously 38, 39 and 40 will appear as soon as they are available. So hopefully that answers your question, uh, Zoltan. And uh, Gilda Mitsuko, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that made sense to you. Um, and I see that Jonathan has just enrolled in Flavor of German complete with Black Friday discount. Thank you very much indeed. Ausgezeichnet. Vielen Dank, Jonathan. And vielen Dank to everyone. Thank you all for for joining uh, this uh, YouTube live. Sorry we had a few technical issues back at the beginning there, uh, but hopefully it's been useful to answer some of your questions about our language courses. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for being interested in, in all things languages. And we would very much hope that uh, you continue to enjoy learning languages, that you continue to enjoy our YouTube content. And if you've got any ideas as to what you would like to see here on YouTube and indeed in our courses, then do let us know. Thank you very much. Haristopoli, muchas gracias. Grazie mille. Vielen Dank. Si, si, ni men. What have I missed? Merci beaucoup. I can't remember if I've said that anymore. Okay, thank you all very much indeed. Mutsumesk, if Sultan's still listening, Mutsumesk. Thank you all very much indeed. And we'll be back again soon with more Coffee Break languages. But for now, that's it.